Hey guys, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. I get a lot of questions, guys, about my bodybuilding journey, and so today I'm just going to walk you through my last couple of years going through um, my bodybuilding competitions in the fit body and figure categories. I pulled some images and some videos from the past, and hopefully I can shed some light on what my experiences were, and especially help those people out that are maybe thinking about doing bodybuilding but not so sure. I originally started bodybuilding, guys, because for a few years, my older sister had been bugging me for a long, long time. Can you do bodybuilding? Will you do figure competition with me? And my answer was always no, 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 no. And the reason being is I was really scared of getting really bulky and big from lifting heavy, right? Because all you ever really see is people flexing on the stage, and you think that's, a, that's what they look like on a normal basis, but it's not. Um, so I finally gave in. I said, fine, I'll do a competition with her. And I, it was just such a big high for me. So to start with my journey, guys, ever since in high school um, and through October 2016, I've been eating poultry and seafood. And I stopped eating cow and chick uh, or cow and lamb and all those kinds of meats, animals, because cows are actually my, are still my favorite animal, and so I just couldn't eat them anymore. So since high school, I was eating poultry and seafood. Um, in October 2016, I decided that if I'm going to do this figure competition, this figure category in bodybuilding, I needed some assistance in figuring out what to eat, when to eat it, am I eating the right proteins, macronutrients, proteins, carbs, and fats, right? So the first thing that I did, was, guys, is I went online and I started doing my research and uh, I came across Renaissance Periodization. Renaissance periodization, guys, is basically this kind of templated document that you can get online, and then they'll provide you with some sort of structure based on, I think it was your gender and your weight and your goal, lose weight, gain muscle, that kind of thing. And they give you this structure of this is how many macros you need to eat, how many times in the day, and when you should eat them based on your workout schedule, your workout intensity for that day. So that was my first go at really starting to pay attention to my macronutrients and weighing out my food. At that point as well, around October, I got a local lifting coach. I've been working out since I was 16, but I was doing a lot of calisthenics and I was doing a lot of weight, but not a heavy weight. Like if I was curling, I was maybe curling 10 pounds, which today I can curl, I think, 25 pounds, 15 reps, 30 pounds, whatever, 10 reps, depending on my strength for that day. Um, and so I got a local lifting coach, and I got my lifting coach. His name was Mike Rigi, I think is his last name, um, off of Thumbtack. <laughs> so if you guys aren't familiar with Thumbtack, it's a really just great place to get like a service person, a person that provides a service with ratings that they that they got that that are verified, and usually at a lower cost than what you might see elsewhere. Um, so that was really great, and having that lifting coach to kind of teach me and put me in the mindset of lifting heavy is okay and here are the form and considerations that you should have when you're lifting heavy because especially when you're lifting heavy you have to be very aware of your form to make sure that you don't injure yourself. So October goes by, December goes by and I'm kind of still just doing this renaissance periodization and sort of working out with my, my trainer, right? Um, and then I decide along the process that I just, I don't think that I want to eat land animals anymore. So then I switched to being pescatarian, which is eating seafood. And the reason I started going that route is because um, as I started doing more research on my food, I also started doing research on where my food came from and how that food was being treated, especially as animals, what was the treatment like for them or, you know, all that stuff. And so I started kind of just exposing myself and I thought, well, maybe I could just eat seafood only and that's totally fine. So I became a pescatarian early in July and then I had my first figure competition. This is March of 2017 and you can see I'm starting to build my muscle and starting to really kind of just enjoy the fact that I can start to build my physique without looking buff and muscular or too muscular and goodness knows, not feminine, you know, I, li I like it in a feminine shape. I think it was July 1st, I had my first figure competition. Figure is a category in bodybuilding, and so 
a lot of women join what's called the bikini category, which is a lot more feminine shape, less more about like muscle definition, more so about general shape. The the poses in bikini aren't for me. If you guys look it up, you'll know what I mean. It's a lot more kind of just a little bit more sexualized for my preference. Um, but that's just me. I'm not saying that girls shouldn't do it. You should do it if you, if you want to do it. It's totally amazing. Those girls work equally hard um, to, to have the physique that they have. It's just it, the posing is just not for me. So I did a figure category, which is a little bit more muscular, which talks about looks a little bit more about muscle definition. Uh, this is me winning fourth place. I was so confused. I didn't know I was supposed to hold her hand. I was looking around all sorts of blah, blah, blah <laughs> until I looked over and everybody else had their hand raised. And I was like, oh, let me let me grab her hand. So as you can see, guys, I've gained a little bit more muscle, but I'm certainly not as defined. But I'm still very proud at this point because I've worked my bum off from somebody that hadn't really tracked their nutrition to getting nutrition and starting to lift heavy. It was a huge accomplishment for me, especially for being my first competition. NPC, by the way, guys, is not a drug-tested federation. Um, so you'll find that in later competitions, I actually also... Um, I also competed in WNBF, which is a natural uh, federation, which you'll see in a bit. And the reason I did NPC, guys, is because um, it's the biggest one. It's the one my sister wanted to compete in. And unfortunately, she didn't actually get to compete, but I still went through the competition um, because I already put my mind to it, and so I was just going to do it anyway. So anyways, I won fourth place on that one. Here is a picture of me from from that first competition where I won fourth place and this is me October 16th and this is me April 17th so you guys can see that my body's done a little bit of transformation I didn't do anything major I didn't have some sort of epic godly transformation but I did see some physique changes which I was just very proud of right you can see my delts starting to come in I didn't really have very strong delts then before but you could see it starting to come in and then, um, throughout this whole process, guys, um, I'd been preparing, or my husband and I, my almost husband then, and I had been preparing for, for our wedding. And so through, through all of this, we were organizing the wedding. Beyond bodybuilding, guys, there's so much more to my life. And so it's just something else that I put on myself because I, I guess I just love some, having some sort of sport in my life. Um, so anyways, um, in preparing for the wedding or right before the wedding, actually the day after the bodybuilding show, um, my my bridal party um, set up my bridal shower for me. I had one of my girls, Jessica, come in from LA and other folks coming in from the Bay Area just to you know celebrate me and, and um, our upcoming wedding. And so not really having some sort of kind of nutrition plan on how to get into the bodybuilding show and how to get off of it. Um, while I was following Renaissance periodization, it's great for kind of overall nutrition, but it wasn't bodybuilding specific, at least not the template that I got. And so <laughs> during my bridal party, I ate a ton of this. My girlfriend Tiff created some s'mores brownies. <laughs> and if you know me, I love me some brownies. Um, these aren't vegan brownies. I wasn't vegan then, so I just ate a ton. <laughs> I ended up swelling up so badly <laughs> afterwards because I had uh, depleted my body to kind of lean out as much as possible for the show. And so my body was just like a sponge ready to soak up everything. <laughs> um, so I had my bridal shower then, and then I, you know, I kept doing my research about food, guys, and then I realized, you know, I just, I can't eat animal product anymore. I, I just felt guilty about it, because I, when I was, every time I do research about something, I always try my best to keep a very open mind. There's no point of doing research if your mind is pretty closed off, right? So um, in July of 2017, I decided to become a vegan. And that is a decision that I didn't know if I was going to stick with, if it was going to be hard, if I was going to lose my gains. Um, but I'm just so glad that I did. Um, and I will never go back. I've done a ton of research and like tested what works with my body, what doesn't. And so I've, I, I think I've finally already figured out my diet or kind of like my how I like to eat as a vegan. Um, and so look at this fluffy cow. How would you ever eat him? 
<laughs> so that was July um, of 2017. And then um, in August, you know, we're still prepping for a wedding. And so mind you guys, I've had between 2017 and 2018, I did four competitions. So this whole time, I'm kind of just like in competition mindset. Um, but even so, our wedding is coming up. And of course, my friends want to throw me a bachelorette party. And I want to have a bachelorette party too. So we fly over to Miami. And they're just so amazing because... They found a vegan restaurant for me. We saw Lala and, um, oh golly, Michelle, M Michelle, oh, 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 Michelle, and Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. Roland, Roland, Roland's, oh, Roland, Michelle, from Destiny's Child. <laughs> I saw her in Miami. You had so much fun there. It was an amazing time. Yes, I did drink. Yes, I did eat. Yes, I did have fun. Um, so, but if you factor that in, guys, every trip like do like this means that I travel, right? You're in a different time zone. Maybe you have to pack food. Do you have to, do you feel guilty eating more than you normally would in a day? Those are things that you have to kind of decide before you partake in that drink or that extra food is, are you going to feel guilty? If you're going to eat it, don't feel guilty about it. Just do it. Otherwise, you really mind F yourself. So anyways, that happened. That was spectacular. And then, of course, the most spectacular day in my life is when I got married to my wonderful husband. This is the day of the wedding. Yes, I went to the gym. I had a low-cut back dress, uh, and I wanted my back muscles to pop. <laughs> and yes, guys, I do have cellulite sometimes, too. Um, it's very natural. I think people shouldn't be ashamed of it. It just is. It is. Like my pimples. It is. <laughs> this is our wedding day. Mom lures him back in with his Jordans. <laughs> anyway, so that's your wedding day. And so we get married, and that's spectacular, of course, right? But I'm still kind of in, like, bodybuilding mode. Uh, December comes around, and I realize, guys, I'm going to do another show, and I want to do it in July. And um, I, I didn't realize yet what show I wanted to do, and I was thinking, maybe I'll just do another NPC show, um, that federation, just because that's what I know. And my bodybuilding, or my, my new coach that I hired, uh, Danny Taylor, she's uh, at Vegan Proteins or myveganproteins.com. She's amazing. She competes. Um, she is obviously vegan here, you can, you can see. She actually brought me up to the idea of, hey, maybe you should do a natural federation. So then I started looking up natural federations, and I looked at WNBF. And boy, oh boy, was I glad <laughs> to find them because... While NPC, the people were nice and the experience was fun, um, there's something different about a natural competition, at least the WNBF. It felt a lot more like family-ish, if that makes sense. And you know that I'm competing with people that don't take I don't, steroids or other, those kind of like, juices, whatever you want to call them, um, because I'm a natural competitor. So if I, if I continue to compete in NPC, while those people, some of them just look so amazing, I'll never be able to do whatever they're doing because I choose to be a natural com competitor and I'm really proud of it. It just makes me so proud to build the physique that I can and that I have without having to be on juice. <laughs> and through this whole process, guys, I, I think starting... Starting early 2018, we realized, oh, we want to do our honeymoon around um, our one-year anniversary. Um, and so one of the things that I've always wanted to do is um, op op open water diving because I love animals. <laughs> so we were also going through a diving certificate process that meant that we were practicing our swimming, practicing holding our breath on top of going to the gym and lifting and doing my cardio and those kind of things. I'm glad to say that we did get our open water cert. 
So anyways, um, in July of 2018, I had my first competition with WNBF. This is my second uh, overall competition as a figure category. But then when I was, um, if you guys are familiar with the figure category, the poses are very sim simple. It's kind of like quarter turns. You show your delts, and then you show your front, and then you show your other side, and then you show your back. And that's kind of what the competition or the posing is for figure. Then I saw oh, WNBF has a fit body category. I'm nowhere near as big and as shredded as the other fit body girls that I've seen in the you know online searches. But I was like, hey, they get to do some cool poses. I want to do that. So for fit body, um, it's front double bicep, it's your triceps, it's or your triceps, it's your chest. And so there's just a lot more um, posing that you get to do. And that's really kind of all that I wanted to do it for is I wanted to have more fun with posing. I got, got to wear the same bikini. Um, so I, that means I didn't have to shell out extra money for another suit. Um, and it was just, it ended up, ended up being so much fun. I have a couple of um, shots for you from that show. So this is Tina. She's one of the uh, founders. That's me. I did my own hair. That's front double bicep. That's my husband <laughs> recording and cheering me on. This is your rear double bicep. Back gains. That's side chest. Triceps. Abs and legs. That was so much fun. Can you just tell I was having so much fun? Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about how fun that was. So I won second place in that fit body competition. Uh, and in the figure competition in that same night, I won first place in my figure class. <laughs> Anyways, I decided, heck, I want to do more competitions this year. I might as well have been working so hard. But there were a few things already in my schedule and things just continue to pop up. And so I'm just going to walk you through what else I went through in the, the next year. After that, I had to travel to Canada for a week for work. So when I travel, guys, just remember that I have to prep my protein beforehand because I don't want to rely on protein powders. So I cook a ton of food. I have to pack it. I pack my weighing scale, I my food scale. I pack my measuring tape because I want to always be consistent throughout the where even regardless of where I travel, I always make sure that I'm close to a gym, that I know I'm going to get my workouts in, those kind of things. I start to factor in, okay, if my day has this schedule, do I work out in the morning? Do I work out in the evening? Those kind of things. Am I going to be too tired? So it's just a lot of things for me to consider. Um, and then, of course, we also had our honeymoon in August. And so we went abroad. Um, we went to Manila, Davao. We went to Bali, and we went to Cairns. Um, so first we went to Manila. Um, we did find a Gold's Gym uh, near Manila. So this is me at the Gold's Gym just flexing because I can flex. <laughs> and so we were there on a regular basis. Um, and then in Davao, we also found a gym pretty close by to us. This is us in a tricycle. Uh, he'd never been in one. So I just kind of showed him the ropes. This is what a tricycle feels like. Uh, and the tricycle driver was kind enough to be in our picture with us. <laughs> And then we went over to Bali. So we did a ton of things in Bali. We went to the rice paddies. We went to a bunch of different temples. Um, they have such amazing service in Bali, guys. We we stayed at this amazing villa where we got massages almost every day. Yes, we also found a gym in Bali. Uh, we worked out there pretty regularly as well. This is us river rafting in, in Bali. And it was just, it was tons of fun. We also went four-wheeling over there. I think that's what it's called. Um, but we were doing all of that. I did still weigh out my food. I did go to the gym. I did... Uh, 
managed to keep up with the steps that I have um, in my program. I think at that point I had to hit like 9,000, 8,000 steps a day. Well, that was easy to hit because we were walking around all over the place. Um, the hardest part probably was just I love trying new food and um, sometimes it would mean that I would go over my macros or sometimes it means that whatever food that I was trying, I didn't know what it was called, so I didn't even know how to track it in my macros. I'd have to take guesses. Um, and then this is us in Cairns in Australia. This is me actually uh, open water diving. I took a shot of myself because why not take a funny photo picture of you? Uh, so this is what our open dive cert was for. We did get to see sea turtles. Uh, we did a ton of things in Cairns, but primarily we were there to go go diving but we tried um, a bunch of different food places um, and we just had a blast and Karen's was kind of our like relax um, from all the traveling that we did but just be remember throughout this process guys I'm still in the mindset of I've got a bodybuilding show to compete in so I'm still trying to be pretty diligent about eating and not eating so <laughs> shortly after my honeymoon in October then I had to travel to Spain for a couple of weeks uh, this is me uh, being prepped to to start presenting with one of my colleagues and so we were there for for two weeks because we did the uh, presentation and then we had to do a workshop afterwards and all that time not only am I still again in a different time zone so I had the honeymoon we had the honeymoon different time zone I regulated back to the US and then went back to a different time zone completely different time zone and I'm st I still found a place to work out um, I still track my food people I kind of already just know that Gia comes with a scale <laughs> you don't get Gia without a weighing scale a food scale <laughs> so people kind of just expect it from me the hardest part probably guys is everybody was drinking um, and as much as I wanted to partake um, I was being very diligent because I worked so hard to do well in my bodybuilding shows that I didn't want to just mess it up because I would be drinking too much, right? I did have a couple of drinks though, but nothing kind of outrageous. In October, I still had a few trips. Um, some were flying and some were driving around. So I flew to New York uh, for family uh, and then we drove up to uh, Long Island and then dr from Long Island my sister drove down to Virginia uh, and because that's where my mom and my sister live hung out there for a little bit and then I came back and then um, hubby drove us to Sacramento and LA for a couple of things for LA went to go to my um, girlfriend from kindergarten it was her wedding so I was just so happy to be part of that hi Mo um, it was such a beautiful wedding um, I just feel so blessed. I, I through all this the whole experience, guys. One of the most important things is to just have the love and the support of the people you care about. Um, that probably is the biggest game changer. I know that's so touchy feely me, but it's pr probably the biggest game changer because as a bodybuilder, you already feel pretty alone in a lot of circumstances. You go out to eat and you're the strange bird weighing your food um, or asking the waiter to separate everything out or not include this or not include that or the person that doesn't have a drink or the person that has to go work out, you know. Um, so you feel pretty alone in a lot of um, instances and so it's just wonderful to surround yourself with people you love and the people that support you. Anyways, <laughs> sensitive time over. Um, so then in November of 2018, I had my last couple of competitions. My first competition was back to NPC because um, my sister was going to do it again, but um, unfortunately her schedule still didn't allow. So, But I still went ahead along with it um, because I was like, what the heck? I might as well, right? So I did an NPC show, and this is me <laughs> getting my second coat of tan. This is... Uh, um, in some room somewhere in the NPC show, uh, they have you wrap your bikini up in plastic saran wrap so they don't get the spray all over it. You get extra dark, and this is the kind of stance you are standing in front of these giant fans, and you're just freezing <laughs> until you're trying to dry your tan. And by the way, the tan smell <laughs> it smells like chemicals and onion. I don't know how that works. Um, this is backstage where I got. Uh, 
second and fourth places in the figure classes that it competed in. So in the MPC show, guys, they had this room for the women and then had another room for men. And this typically kind of how it works. In some instances, they'll have common area for men and women, but like they especially love to give um, men and women privacy because we change clothes, right? Oh, here's a photo. Here's a photo of me on stage in NPC. So um, you could just tell that everybody here has worked really hard, right? We're all super tired. We've all worked hard. We've all tried to be consistent. We've all thought about our nutrition and gone to the gym. And it's just a time to just kind of just appreciate each other. Um, so while I didn't win first place, I'm so happy to compete against people that equally put in as much hard work, if not more, than I do. Um, and then here's me and hubby. <laughs> Just a random photo that I like. <laughs> and then my last show of 2018, guys, was WNBF. So again, the Natural Federation. With WNBF, guys, you do have to... Go, all, all the competitors go through a polygraph test. That means they get lie detector tested. It's so much fun. Uh, and you just get asked a bunch of questions of like, do you take any steroids? Have you done this? Have you done that? You know, just to verify if you are, um, help verify if you've taken any things that are legal substances. Um, the overall winners have to go through urine testing. So to absolutely verify that you didn't have any drugs in you when you competed. The thing that I really love about WNBF guys is not only the people ph phenomenal, um, but the spirit of the people are amazing. Everybody's just, you know, everybody's tired, but everybody's just really kind and really nice. And it's just, it's nice to know that I'm up on stage with people that haven't um, supplemented with uh, other substances, um, you know, that are maybe on the band list. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing what the band list is, um, I'll link the description box down below, at least for WNBF. They do post it online. Um, so if you are thinking about doing a WNBF show, make sure to look online and that you haven't taken, um, you know, whatever might be on the banned substance list. I think even like prescription diuretics are banned, right? Um, so those kind of things. But it, it's totally worth it, guys. Um, and then... Uh, before the actual competition, the competition was in LA. I heard about this place called Donut Friend. Uh, it's a, they have vegan donuts, and so I went there. I got a ton. Um, it was great, but I think I hyped it up too much in my head. <laughs> That's what happens when you get too excited for donuts. This is me at the WNBF show. And this is actually the figure poses. So, you know, I was showing you earlier the front double biceps, rear double biceps with fit body. This is figure. So this is your um, left pose, left side pose. And then this is your back pose. And then the, the next one is your side pose. And so you can see it's just quarter turns, quarter turns. And that's why I wanted to do fit body as well, just because you get to do more poses. I didn't think I was going to win first place, but I just wanted to have fun. So those are the uh, figure poses. Now, guys... If I were to say a couple of things, um, my experience between NPC and WNBF, NPC is just a bigger competition because it allows for people that um, take substances and that don't take substances to enter, right? Um, your competition is never going to be absolutely even because everybody's body type is going to be different, especially if you're taking substances versus not. Um, and... Uh, the other experience that I had, and I don't know if it's WNBF specifically, but with NPC, they were very strict. Okay, you have three seconds for each pose, and we're not going to wait for you. You have to go, because they have to churn through so many um, athletes, right? WNBF, um, even this last competition I had in LA, where 
everybody from the world flew in. It was called Worlds, um, and people from different countries had to qualify within their country to come in because obviously it's expensive to fly internationally. Um, they didn't rush athletes off of stage. In fact, I was looking at one of these recordings. I was on that stage posing straight, um, nonstop flexing for 20 minutes just for one of those times, and I was competed in fit body and figure, so I was probably on the stage for a total of an hour, but, um, you know, flexing, which is really tiring, and in some of the videos you can see on my Instagram or photos, I have sweat dripping off of me, my tan is dripping off of me, um, and so while I was on stage, I'd probably be in the back eating or pumping or sleeping or doing something, right? Um, bodybuilding is so much fun, guys. If you're thinking about doing it, I say give it a whirl and see if you like it, right? But it does require that you have patience, that you're kind to yourself, um, that you have a good relationship with food. Um, because if you think that bodybuilding is going to be your solution to being okay with the way you look uh, or to fixing your food um, relationship issues, it's not. It's going to exacerbate and it's going to make that that issue shine. <laughs> um, so you have to be, have in a, uh, be in a really good place with food. Um, and um, just know that there's going to be ups and downs, um, but if you end up liking it, you it's, it's such a major thrill. But anyways, guys, um, so that's my story. I know that was a bit of a lengthy video, but I hope that answered some of your curiosities. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'm happy to answer them. Oh, and one more tip I have for you guys is if you are doing multiple competitions in a year, do your best to clump them all into one part of the year. Otherwise, if you space them out across a couple months, you're going to be in deficit probably the, that length of time. You're just going to just don't do it. Just try to clump it into one part of the year. Don't do like what I did. <laughs> Although it's fun, I wouldn't change it for the world now that I have that experience and I can say that pretty confidently for you guys. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, um, put it in the comments below. If you guys find this information as helpful for you, or even if you want me to go into uh, create a video going into deeper into like one of my bodybuilding shows and kind of the ins and outs of that particular show um, or what show day might look like before after during that kind of thing give this video a thumbs up let me know and i'll make that video for you guys um and yeah if you guys aren't already following me on social go ahead feel free to do so if you want to if you want to see more content from this mug you can hit that subscribe button there's a notification bell right next to it make it go ding 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video um and let's see mm. i think that's it thanks guys i hope that was helpful have a good day See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs>